morning. <laughs> Good morning. And I mean early morning. It is stifling hot out here this week. This is normally the hottest time of the year for us. So we don't work during the day. Just to answer a few of your questions. We start bright and early and we're usually done well before noon. It just gets too hot to be out here swinging saws and working on firewood. As you can see, I'm back here in the upper field again, still going at this log pile from last year. Thought I'd take a little bit of time and clean up what I've already bucked and I'll try to see how many logs I can get through before it gets too hot again. This is gonna be kind of our staging area for splitting. We'll haul the Easton Meat access out into the field here and then Husky Bob's gonna bring his trailer in because it's actually his wood and he's gonna trailer it a couple miles down the concession to his stack. I brought both saws today because I wanted to try them out together just to get a feel for the difference. Not to mention, I'm kind of excited to see how well this thing cuts. For the first time, I used hand files yesterday. We'll see how I did. It's not even eight o'clock and it's already super hot outside. We'll see how long I last. Either way, let's fire it up and we'll get to it. I hope you guys will stick around.
Guys, that's a crazy difference. I gotta be honest. I think I did a pretty good job sharpening. I'm getting a lot of chips and I don't see a lot of dust. Uh, like I said, it was my first time with a round file and I did check the rakers. I didn't think they'd need much and they didn't. But I did give it a shot there. I think I did all right because she seemed to cut fine. That 261, <laughs> it's the first time I've used that saw since I got my 462. It is a night and day difference. My goodness. One, super lightweight comparatively. And don't get me wrong, I love that 261. But even just you touch the throttle and it's like a slower spool up. Whereas you probably noticed you touch the throttle on that 462 and it jumps instantly. Just instantly. Such a huge difference in performance. And cutting as well. Feels different. Really pleased I got that second larger saw to kind of complement the 261. You folks also probably noticed I tried something I haven't done in a long time because I had a suggestion from one of you good folks that I should be able to go right down through that block, right to the ground, and completely buck it without having to flip the log. And I used to do that once in a while. I thought I'd try it again just because I enjoy getting your suggestions and trying different things. But honest to goodness, we got way too much rock in the ground here. And I could tell that my bar did hit a couple places as I was coming through. I think it's just a lot better to go most of the way through flip the log and finish the cut. But anyways, I thought I'd give it a shot. Anyways, we gotta get a move on. I just got a severe weather warning that we've got a lightning storm coming in in an hour. So I'm gonna see if I can get these last two logs done. Then I'm gonna pack up and get this big piece of steel out of the field before the lightning hits. See you in a bit.
that'll do it. It's getting dark. I got to get out of here. Thanks so much if you stuck around today. I hope you enjoyed seeing both of the saws working at the same time. I certainly enjoyed doing it. Big difference. Have a wonderful week with your families. Please be kind to each other. And I'll see you again right here. I'm Gord Potter. And you've been watching GP Outdoors. Cheers. <laughs>